tuli kandeni wa kisomo na hundu kibikie kwithwa nkisani sia Kenya aingira muno ngalikoni ya ilembe tani yo kamba tisi sia kisomo cha junior secondary mubunge wa kile bunge cha yata ulane robert basil munene ye mundu kauta yulu wa kisomo ke cha junior secondary nondo asie ya inge mabikie kwithwa mainya ma chambe be alama keto bikie kwithwa maiti akindo ta school fees ndeni wa junior secondary utena o oh, ange makabikie kwithwa mayasi ya uniform asia imaire teyo bakabio kuli kila kana kaili kandini kwa kimanisio kila kaili to so meandini wa junior secondary haka wikia kuidwa ena uniform ila ya ilete na mabuku maya ilete wikia kuidwa maiti wa naitina robert basil mbunge wa yata anenie ondo ibindani ila ena mwanya waonena ndini wa bunge jitu wa kauntini ya ilobi which are charging more than the actual cost of the uniforms and this is actually adding more burden and actually barring many students from accessing education. I also want to say that we should not standardize color. If you standardize color, it will mean more burden for parents for you to be able to face out all the uniforms. So let's try to focus on price because currently many students are actually at home because the actual cost of uniform is denying them the chance to go to school. Another very important element which I want to put across, if the government is able to pay for free education in terms of providing other aspects of education, at the same time supporting KDF and other forces with the free uniforms, why can they not do the same for poor students? So perhaps it would, uh, it would be important to put a policy that is tasking the government to provide free uh, uniforms for schools or for students across the country. Another important element which I thought could be nice to focus on, on standardization, maybe in the near future we may also look at the design. I do remember when I, we were back in school, you could see a very huge variance when it comes to what students from poor backgrounds used to wear and what students from rich or the urbanites are wearing. And this is setting some form of discrimination when it comes to appearance because the essence of having a standardized uniform is to bring homogeneity on education. And if this cannot be realized, then we may go the United States way where you find students in the United States don't, don't necessarily have to wear uniforms particularly in the public schools. So this is something that we need to put it straight in the particular motion, which I think after this, after a few revisions, we can put it as a bill. And then uh, lastly, uh, I think for the movers of the motion, um, personally I'll be happy to do, to make my inputs to the drafting of the bill and uh, to be able to make sure that it resonates with the realities and the priorities of different areas uh, that we represent across the country.